Hey guys, welcome back to your channel, and today we are going to be doing a prospect analysis for picks 30 through 36, and we're going to be doing this over the next one or two months, and without further ado, let's get into it. And our first player that we have in this video is Owen Miller's brother, Noah Miller, and he was the last pick of the first round, and he was actually the 62nd ranked prospect on MLB Pipeline, but I actually sort of like this pick. I mean, he's decent, but he has to develop some power, but I think that the Minnesota Twins can definitely do that, and I he has a commitment to Alabama because he's out of Wisconsin as a shortstop, but I don't think that he's going to go there. Plus, Alabama isn't a great school for baseball players, but I think that he definitely needs to develop some power. He has definitely below average power, but his hit tool, I mean, he's not a bad runner. He isn't a bad fielder. I mean, at second base, his arm will play, and he isn't a bad fielder, so it's not like he's going to be a Corey Seager. He is definitely needing to add some power and some muscle, but... I think at a 6'8", 185-pound frame, I think that he will definitely play. And I think I like this pick. And our next player is Matthew Nelson. And honestly, yes, he doesn't have the best hit tool. He doesn't have really great running. He's definitely going to be a liability there. And he doesn't have the best fielding. He has a lot of power potential, especially as a catcher. And he has a nice arm. And honestly, he sounds a little bit like Will Smith to me. And you know what? He is a catcher out of Florida State, and he's still pretty young. I mean, 22 isn't that old, and I think that he can definitely develop a hit tool. Honestly, I'm not that worried about it, but the only thing that you can worry about is his fielding, which is not very good, and really, if you take away his fielding, I think that this is a very good pick. He's a really good catcher, and anyways... I think just this is a really good pick. And so our next player is Cooper Kinney. And I honestly think that this is like when you look at the numbers, you say he's going to be a terrible fielder. He's not going to run fast. He's going to be a liability on the bases. And that's sort of true. But he has a lot of power potential, maybe 20 home runs a year, and his hitting isn't that bad. I mean, he's like, a, I project a 270 hitter with 20 home runs a year. Maybe he's going to not be a liability on the bases, but he's going to be a good player, and you see his potential. And maybe he becomes a DH, but honestly, the Tampa Bay Rays are good at developing middle infielders which is why I actually really like this pick. And our next player is Ty Black. And honestly, I think that he's going to be a really good player for the Milwaukee Brewers. Now, he's not going to have a ton of power. Now, Tyler Black may not have, like, the greatest fielding potential, but you got to see his hit potential. I mean, he's probably going to have a 300 batting average. Maybe he has a little bit of power, like... Maybe has 15, maybe 10 home runs a year, which, I mean, isn't bad. And I honestly see his, like, his potential in this kid. And honestly, he's not that old. He's 21. And Tyler Black, honestly, I think is just a good pick. Now, this is a pick that I'm just really excited for. I mean, honestly, this Ty Madden pick might be the biggest steal of the draft. I mean, he was the ninth overall prospect. Now, maybe that's a little bit overrated, but, like, he was the ninth overall prospect. Like, that just didn't happen. I mean, he doesn't fall technically out of the first round and into the, like, the CBA round. And, honestly, like, he was the 32nd overall pick by the Detroit Tigers. They got two top 10 picks, or top 10 players in the first round with their 
third overall pick and their CBA pick at number 32. I mean, that's just amazing. I mean, he doesn't have the best curveball, but his fastball is amazing. His slider is amazing. His changeup's amazing. And he has nice control. I mean, you don't need anything more out of a pitcher. And they got an absolute seal at number 32. And really, there's just nothing to say. It's just a great pick. Now we're just getting into the steals because here's another steal. Joe Mack, the catcher out of Williams East New York High School. And honestly, he has a great arm. He can hit and he also can develop a little bit of power. Now, as a catcher, you you like it's almost expected that you're a liability on the bases. Now his fielding isn't amazing as a catcher, but honestly, his hit and his power grades make up for it because I project him as like a 15 home run, 270 batting average, and he probably won't steal a bunch of bases, but he's going to be fine on the bases. And honestly, I just project him as not a bad player. And I honestly just really like this pick. And our next pick is the pick that I really don't like. It's actually the highest pick. And honestly, Jay Allen is just not going to be a first-round worthy player, in my opinion. I mean, he's going to hit 250. He's going to hit 10 to 15 home runs. And he's going to not really be a huge threat on the base path. But he can steal a base or two. And he's going to have a nice arm in the outfield. But his fielding just is average. He's an average all-around player. And honestly, I just really don't like this pick. The only thing that you can say good about this is that he's young and he can develop a hit tool and he can develop the power. Plus, he's 6'3", 190, so maybe. But I just really don't like this pick for some reason. I just don't. And thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like, and comment in the comment section down below. And I want to know your thoughts about the picks and if you thought my predictions and my projections about them in the major leagues were right or wrong tell me in the comment section down below and anyways thank you everyone for watching hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe like and comment in the comment section down below and anyways peace out